What's up, folks? Hello, Rilo. Hello, Average Joe. And Enwall, thank you so much for the five months resub. That is incredible. You are now like three months into the Baker Club. Um, I think uh, I have the thing set up as like 139 as the months. Whoa, got way too much open here. Yeah, if you get to nine months sub, you get a braggart icon. Um, what's the magic mushroom on Lumen's tag? What are what are you talking about? All right, so uh, this is E I K W M France G uh, J J's collection G four G five, and then extra G six G seven draft ten. Could be a crazy game here. <laughs> Should be four wood ox. Yeah, that would be really funny actually and cool. Okay, uh, return an animal to plow a field. That's interesting. Uh, Country Doctor seems pretty good. Reed Collector does too. Beauty and the Beast. You can do field watchman day labor basically. Plow dealer's five power. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess if you get early sheep, you're just breeding fields. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's silly. I didn't really think about it that way, but when you... I can justify it once you tell me why. Uh, sheep Lord is another way to use things. Field Dreamer. When you plow extra fields, you receive building resources, crops, and... Okay, this is... We're gonna get a bunch of animals, then turn that into a stone... A reed stone, grain veg, and four cows or something like that. Hey, Thytrius. It's a meme stream. We'll see about that. Philosopher ain't bad, but... Uh... Yeah, field dreamer. Let's go. I'm breeding fields. Yeah, I mean, you have to do it a little slowly, but... Compared to any time. Hey, Fofo. Okay, what is going on here? Jungle farmer, spend wood for stuff. Organic farmer could be fun, but it's not on the level of something like guild master. Oh, stud master, you got an animal. Okay, well. Yeah. Does this thing say, uh, get animals? Yes? I'm just cycling animals here. Like magic combo style? Uh, I assume that's a correct comment, though to be perfectly honest, I've never played magic um, as a self-defense measure mechanism uh, for my wallet. But uh, yeah, it seems like a very strong potential combo going on here. That surprises you? Yeah, until I mentioned the, yeah. Cattle dealer. Oh my gosh. Did I want ways to get animals? And do things with animals? Yeah, I mean, uh, as a kid I did uh, Wizards of the Coast's uh, baseball-themed collectible card game, so I definitely learned the dangers from the age of like nine um yeah too bad we only get one of these yeesh animal nurse is not as dependable 
Mad Scientist is just later. A couple of four or three point cards that I need to remember in the game. No more than three cards in hand. Most majors. And will be showdown. Yes, exactly. One of the all-time best games. They were doing baseball math before Moneyball, basically. Just to create the game, they had to, like, realize some things about Moneyball. Yeah, there was NFL Showdown and NBA Showdown, but those didn't take off as much, and I was only really a baseball fan as a kid. It took me a long time to start watching basketball, actually. Yeah, MLB Showdown lasted six years. Really great. Okay, uh, so back to this. I don't really need Cattle Dealer. Because... Field Dreamer is going to give us the cows, right? It's probably handmade, I agree. So... One way we get all these animals is that there's a good, there's a lot of animal cards in the draft, and people assume they're gonna get animals from their cards, so I take them off the board. Um, it would feel bad to be returning cows to start, and I don't really want to do that. So, yeah, play stud master then handmade, or I guess it doesn't matter. Handmade doesn't consume the animals at all. I could take Field Barterer. Peon seems better. I'm not gonna have food to run Tarzan because my animals are becoming fields. Yeah, I like Peon a lot. But Field Barterer helps me run Field Dreamer sooner. I probably don't need it. Craps Shooter I've never liked as a timing thing. A lot of people like to try it. I'm not convinced it's worth much. Master of None comes with a boar on fences. Yeah, because we need to be returning our animals, not eating them. Crap shooter, like, after you take resources, if you have four, three, two, one of the building resources, you get an extra one. But you have to have exact. And I mean, I personally find that I often jump to five or six wood a lot early, so... Spend and get stuff. I guess that's the real way to do it. I don't see anything better here than Master of None. We used it the other day. Maybe like a week ago. Seemed fine. Resource Collector is good for a 7th pick. But, you know, so is Organic Farmer. Uh, I probably don't want to be Organic. Because if I have eight fields, and I probably want um, a two by two, that only leaves me space for one room. But that's okay, because I have handmade. Like wholesale agent? Fair. Fair enough. Okay, so, uh, I think I just want to take Children's Rider, because I'm going to want so much wood for, uh, for my 12 fences and 4 stables. So, Field Dreamer, everything has to be different, but that's okay. 
that's okay. Okay, so I'll I'll take Children's Writer. Probably not playing it. Ooh, Soccer Field is fun. So the great thing about Soccer Field... Ooh, whoa, okay. Uh, I have to think about this. So, Feast, I mean, Aquavit, Feast, these are okay. Art could be okay. Taco shells, no. Play workers shop, no. All right, so the pick is one of these three. Soccer field and curtail are both stronger in a vacuum. Has soccer field always been four wood, or is that a recent change? Four free wood is still fine. No, it's been four wood. So what is the change? Oh yeah, I could also see it's just updated in 2015. Like, Soccer Field was close to five power the last time I looked, which was after 2015, I guarantee it. <clears throat> I think Curtail and Convert Throwing in a stone room is going to happen too late for me. I'm just going to take soccer field. And uh, I will... I'll be plowing uh, maybe nine fields. Maybe I'll uh, fence four spaces with 13 wood. Either way, this is at least three free wood and a fence's action. I guess it means Master of None doesn't do very much for me. Too bad we don't have cattle dealer anymore. What exactly, uh... Plowman's lunch is fun, but there wasn't a huge amount of baking support. I'm not gonna take educated sheep, but it's worth thinking about, as in the draft. Oh, soccer field and cattle dealer. Oh, gosh, yeah. How did I not think of that? Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Here I think field extension is the best card. But the pick is Shepherd's Kitchen, because we want that first sheep pile. We haven't seen anything that steals the sheep. And I think that that's pretty important. Woodwork could be useful on the wheel. Archangel's not bad, but not really necessary. Chocolate's okay. Oh, resource trading not pulled into view, sorry. Yeah, I forget that this is draft 10, so I have to pull an extra card into view. Uh... Okay. Allegory Studmaster. It's happening. Everything is happening. Everything is happening. So, yeah, this is nice. I'm gonna need a lot of wood. Alright, do I even grow? Or how early do I actually try to grow here? Harvest party is a small... Uh, okay. Bro, where am I getting this wood from? Yeah, I mean, potentially not building a room is where I'm getting this wood from. Because, yeah, this is... A lot of wood really early that I want. Hi, Gray. And I mean, these, these rewards are probably worth it. Like, this is just ridiculous.
auto farming. Super auto farming. First move, three wood. Um, the only card that makes sense to me is Pumpkin Seed Press here. Uh, the Vendor and the uh, Elder's Daughter are in this game, meaning I want to play Majors and get cards out of my hand. Maybe I just don't fight for those as hard. But stuff like Sawmill and uh, Glassblower Shop are just bad for Elder's Daughter games. I could just hope for playable stuff, or draft playable stuff, but I think Pumpkin Seed Press could be very nice for me with Peon in hand. And probably hitting the table. Is it time to start thinking about Curtail and Convert? Or Aquavit. Those count as majors in the new compendium. Oh, sapling is wood, but I think we don't want, we'd rather have the two early wood than the six late wood. Yeah, curtail does mean I want to build a normal room though, before playing handmade. It's just so strong. And I'm not really sure I need feast or uh, aquavit. Yeah, because I need three spaces to breed animals. Uh, which is basically a second fence action. At the same time, I don't like the idea of forcing myself into two rooms. I think I just go crazy, uh, crazy amounts of wood here. I like woodwork a lot. Chocolate, still fine. I like that no one took Plowman's lunch. It means no one has crazy baking stuff going. I'm probably not ever taking fences. Yeah. Yeah, chocolate's just better. And then cheese on toast is free. Bartering shack, though, that's what we wanted. Okay, so the plan Gosh, I have no idea what the plan is. Take a bunch of wood, that's the plan. Second seat. Pretty good shot at three wood. Fences come out first. Kristen plays Beauty and the Beast, which is basically Dancer in round one. You played a solo game, read all the ox for 15 minutes, took an action and quit. Hey, yeah, for sure. That's absolutely progress if you've not played on the site before, just like starting your own game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I know you're kidding in part, but
I mean, the best jokes are the ones that are rooted in truth, so... Yeah. PT with a very early stockman. Certainly interesting. Beauty and the Beast is going to plow. That makes a lot of sense. Beauty and the Beast could definitely have Tarzan. That's a funny thought. Take more wood, take more wood. Be a crazy wood maniac. I guess I need two walks for soccer field. Is Children's Writer going to be worth playing? Or should I just play like Peon Handmade to get Soccer Field in play? Alright, and PT doesn't start. Neither does Idlewild, so same order. What do I do if I'm Beauty and the Beast here? I might play another Auk. Five wood round one? Yeah, we are accomplishing goals here. Uh, primitive man for Kristen. Instantly becoming JP's friend. JP loves these don't play a thing in front of you cards. I might be getting past a lot of miners from Kristen. Maybe not a lot, but some. And, uh, would also be expecting Vendor for Kristen that says have an empty hand. Ooh, taking that Auk spot. So I can play a free Auk or I can take wood. Uh, the game seems fine on food, so Children's Rider's probably bad. Could just play Master of None because Fences is out already. Oh, but Major isn't. Yeah, okay. I could just play Handmaid here or I can take three wood. Apple picker for Idle Wild. Yeah, um, I'm not exactly a stranger to these really weird lines, uh, but yes, that's a good question, Thytrius. So, one of the big ideas of why this kind of strategy is viable at all is because you're pretty much taking away the good things from your opponents. Well, you're giving your opponents a hard time to build anything out of wood, and of course wood is such a crucial resource. Um, I also accidentally gave myself two reed here. And I think because I don't have free Auk available, I'm actually going to take the two reed. I'm not going to try too hard to take a bad action. Good morning, Marushka. Not exactly sure where my game is going right now. Uh, Archangel for Idlewild seems all right. Uh, could be looking at uh, Rice Farmer coming in second play, or first play next round, and then Green Reed Reed Wood Food second move for Idlewild. That could be being set up right now. Yes, so it looks like I'm going to build a room normally. And I think that'll be fine. 
return it later. Because I'm returning this room later, I want to keep my pastures down here. Start plowing from this corner. Basically, uh... I just need two wood before grow? Well, for what? That's a legit question. I don't know which miner I should be going for. Bear trainer. We have a bear trainer after Idlewild takes four wood. Return a fence stable for two boar or build a stable at no cost. That's nice. Three wood for Kristen. I believe I'm supposed to take four clay here. Ignoring my favorite action space. Three times. Really too bad. Idle immediately goes for the fireplace. Makes sense. I can't play Shepherd's Kitchen because it needs a sheep. Yeah. Oh, it's Stockman. That's fun. I didn't expect Idle to go for the fireplace. Usually an apple picker will want other things. Kristen takes the grain reed and two food from Beauty and the Beast. That primitive man's having fun. Um, Idlewild has a veg already. With Bear Trainer now, is child children's writer good? I mean, probably. And it's very likely I could have just responded with that, and I just didn't think about it. I would have a grain now, but I'd be getting like drips of wood and stone and not really the strong stuff. It's probably still the right play. Yeah, it's disappointing. I should have done that. And I still need ox. So if I play it now, I'm just down the grain, which is not a big deal. I'm not going to win any grain fights. Reedstone food solves a lot of my problems, but nobody's taking four food fishing. I'll try for a room and a hearth. I'm going to be pretty boring here. The stable needs to be fenced before uh, PT can bear trainer again. Yeah, the fun stuff comes later. Sometimes you just, you know, do the thing. Oh, wow. PT takes the two sheep here. Oh, and is gonna build... I'm really confused. I guess you can bear train all the free stables first. If Kristen doesn't take Reed here, then... Yeah, that's very lucky. Idle rushing the fireplace instead of letting me have a hearth, and then PT's gonna take the animals anyway. It's uh, lucky that I'm not getting caught in that. Uh, so we'll see what... Kristen does here, but if I can float room, then I will play Auk first. Maybe idle as guest room? Yeah, very likely. Or very possible, I guess I should say.
Kristen does take Reedstone food, uh, which basically turns off Beauty and the Beast. So I can play Children's Writer for free here, guaranteed get a wood. Or I could just take my room. Time to be greedy, I guess. The fishing does smell, for sure. Why guaranteed? Oh, I'm just predicting that PT's going to be building a stable this round. Why else take the two sheep? Yeah, they get a cow with the stable, but I think they're okay with missing the cow. If I if I had to guess, that's the actual reason. Um, I mean, of course, we'll see what actually happens here. I don't know, Gray. It's just a prediction. I'm not trying to say it's the best move, and indeed they don't take traveling. Uh, I think I just build a hearth here. Oh, and I can't play Master of None because I don't have enough food. Okay. I've gotten away with a fair bit here, but not this room thing. It's uh, definitely aggressive. Uh-huh. Right, okay. What? What? How do you not play Field Watchman first move? In my opinion, yes. Kristen playing Itinerant Laborers, giving a so action. That's neat. I will build here. Don't exactly agree with the ordering of the things Idlewild's done. Playing Apple Picker first, playing Archangel first, and not getting any of the read. It was a very strange stage one. Alright, I can play Chocolate now. And I'm going to get a three wood spot here. Uh, PT fence is four. Kristen took Reed. So I think this is still fine because if it's... If it's Grow, I don't need to defend Start Player, because PT just spent wood. Uh, okay. So this could be a food action, except the food actions suck. I 
I think I'm taking six wood next round. First move. How are we feeding? I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Emergency peon. Harvest party. Cool. All I know is the six wood is too good for me to pass here. Yeah, I called it on the passing miners. That's that's usually what happens if you have a primitive man played without having seen it yet. Uh, traveling players. That's a grain, right? Yeah. Kristen takes a couple stone. I'm definitely taking sheep here. Yeah, I can grow with chocolate. In case of extreme emergency, I can just, uh, <laughs> grow with allegory. <laughs> that would be so bad. You're feeling raw, eat the grain? It's not a bad move. Definitely not when I have so many things to do here. Aha, PT has animal farm. Things make sense now. How did I end up with so many animal cards um, if animal farm is on the... Five wood as nine food feels like a bad rate. Uh, yes. Did I fall into that trap? Not exactly sure, uh... Oh, allegory. Yeah. And a point, okay? So it's really, like, two wood for a point, and then <laughs> three wood for nine food, which is better. Let's see, I still don't need to grow with this action, so I could fish. Building planner for Kristen here. She gets to build fences next round. And a room in 10. So fishing is just grain food food. Not a great action. But what else am I doing here? playing an Auk, right? And I'd rather play uh, chocolate first. Uh, I have lots of Auks to play. Who called it? Who called it? It's Marushka with the correct guess. Ding, ding, ding. 
Also, I have to presume Idol has Elder's daughter. That's the best explanation I can think of for uh, rushing that fireplace. Lots of miners to play, yeah. Let's see if PT uh, builds or removes a stable for two boar. PT definitely has a fun setup. Stockman, bear trainer, animal farm. That is really nice. I guess you can take traveling later. Anything except Studmaster could be correct. I mean, Master of None's probably not correct anymore. Nor Field Dreamer. Kristen plows and gets two food. Seems good. I think grain food food is not good enough compared to uh, Anok. I don't have that many rounds left for Plow Dealer, so better get it on the table soon. Soccer field. Then how am I going to hold three animal types? Stables, I guess. Early curtail. Yeah, I'm trying to max curtail in my head for, uh... But I guess I don't need to. I really just need the space. Idol's Guest takes six wood to start. Yeah, I might not even need it. The stables are definitely part of the plan eventually. Kristen gets her building planner fences. It might just take sheep here. She's gotten a lot of farming done here. I definitely like Kristen's position. I like PT's position. My position is still okay. It's not great. I really should take two sheep here if possible. And then start soccer field. I do also want to get Allegory down and Curtail very soon. Yeah, three miners to do all my fencing. Though maybe holding off on Curtail, if I can build stables instead, gets me a couple extra animals. Then take the boar. Yeah, possible. Kristen takes the two sheep, though. Oh, wait. I like that. Oh my gosh, please computer, let me type. I 
it's not letting me type, so I'm just gonna... Yeah. <laughs> no problem, Kristen, I will take the sheep. I have my own two sheep space. No, not this one. This one. All right, uh, Chris, uh, or. PT takes the wood, gets a guest. Kristen getting four clay two food here. Very nice Beauty and the Beast so far. All right, we are absolutely starting here. Hopefully getting the two pigs. It doesn't look like I'll be renovating, so maybe I just play curtail to fence on major here. For food fishing, sure, that could also be done. Allegory, Curtail, and Stud. Really, does that work? PT growing with Stone Cart. Does Idol have frickin' Field Doctor too? No, that's impossible. I didn't pass Field Watchman and Field Doctor. Country Doctor, though. Country Doctor, Idlewild does have. I can't understand not doing Field Watchman first when you have Country Doctor. Kristen takes the fish. Yeah, I'm gonna play curtail and knock at the animals. To do pigs allegory stud. I can do this order, right? Oops. Gotta remove a room for that. Okay. I don't want a fence like that. Uh, I believe I do. Yeah, I have room for eight fields, right? That's what I want with Field Dreamer. Oh, uh, return. Things are getting fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do on this board after, but yes, Thytreus, we are absolutely online now. 
We are running. Though, uh, Kristen has been running for a while. Uh, Allegory on Major Minor, cause it's the only place I can play it. Yeah, and have just enough space to breed everything. This is great. What is this game? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Neapolitan ice cream, possibly. And maybe I can beat Idlewild's Country Doctor with my handmaid in terms of timing, but that might be asking for too much. Uh, PT takes Reedstone food here, so I am getting an occupation. So I want to play take Plow twice total? Yeah, that sounds right. Ha, Kristen has got a leader. Seventh pick, casual. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so let's see. I fed two boar and I bred one, so I'm done feeding now. I returned that sheep for a field and I breed a cow. <laughs> Everything's happening. Uh, it feels good. <laughs> I mean, I basically had my head down this whole game, trying to be aware of what my opponents are doing, but not uh, being crazy analysis on it. Let's see, I need Field Dreamer down in a couple rounds. Uh, Idol is start player incoming and takes Sobake there. Kristen gets the free room. I can AFK and not starve? Yeah, that's correct. Choo choo, the train is definitely running. I could barter. Um, so this handmade grow is not happening for a while. Oh, traveling. Uh, travel. TP was too, right? Idol does play Country Doctor here. Bad timing with uh, Kristen's room coming in. Alright, let me actually set my farm so people know what I'm working with. So Kristen has to grow first move. I could take the two sheep. What is actually happening right now? <laughs> I 
What am I supposed to be doing? My auto farm set up. It's round 10. I guess get more people, get more auto farm. Question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Wow, Kristen got field extension fourth out of my pack. That's silly. Grain and veggies. Well, I have some coming in on Field Dreamer. I could play Peon for it. Majors and people, yeah. Like, the well's hanging out. I don't need to rush Field Dreamer or Handmade necessarily. Taking Reedstone food just feels so bad. I do have this bartering shack. Start player bartering shack into handmade. Make idol hate everything. I'll take two sheep first and then see if that line is available. The two sheep make sure I'm fed while being able to barter a cow. Because on my bartering, I can save myself the clay action of renovating. Hmm. I need stables. Yes, Scholar. That's true. Very true. Idlewild took green plow. PT buys basket makers workshop. So if I barter and take uh, two clay, two stone for a cow, then. I can run a well if things go badly here. Rilo! This this boar living at home is now named Red Six. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so we got uh, Red Six, you're gonna move into the pasture to hang out with white sheep. Oh, you people. Uh, Kristen takes the stone and food. Yeah, exactly, Thytrius. Get a fourth person. That's what this needs. I feel bad for Idlewild because he's getting the short end of things in a big way if I get handmade off here. <laughs> oh, here we come! <laughs> Uh, Big Mama. I'm not going to be able to keep track of this. Uh, and then Sheep is named <laughs> Red Six, White Sheep, Big Mama, Boar. Oh, how am I going to keep track of this? Idle takes So Bake, which unfortunately is not going to work out too well. <laughs> Never gonna play Animal Strat again. Yeah, I mean. That's <laughs> sheep tech. Red six in the house, yeah. Kristen takes the four clay. Uh, yeah, so. Well, I mean, I took start player. I have to do this now. And cattle is named sheep. 
Big Mama and Sheep are in this upper left pasture. We have Boar here. Red six, sheep, and white, wait, red six, white sheep. Uh, God, what was that at two again? No, just one. No, no. I mean, technically, this is a point for a clay. Which takes away my reno action. Field Dreamer starts on the fifth one, so I can auto plow next round, then play Field Dreamer. There's so many animals with names, I'm not going to distinguish them. But you all know that I would never eat an animal that has a name. Yeah, and I mean, I probably should have taken, uh, or just grown with Nada. But I'm going to have extra actions, right? Kristen takes stone oven here. Uh, I believe I'm supposed to... Uh, play the well here. Because I can barely get away with feeding in a lot of ways. Uh, Red Six misses a cozy spot by the hearth. Oh my gosh, so needy. Um, building resources from Field Dreamer on the fifth field. <laughs> Sheep and Big Mama are, are just very cozy, okay? Manger for Idlewild seems fine. Idlewild can uh, choose when to activate Country Doctor, so it doesn't need to be the next growth. Uh, PT still grabbing wood. Or, sorry, that's Idle who grabbed wood and then started. PT plowing and Reedstone food. Kristen is so baking, so I get the two boar? Uh, hey, Timbo. <laughs> yeah, we need a food in some way. I was expecting six food, four food, or three food as my move here. Well, I mean, I wasn't exactly expecting this one. Um, I'm not doing the animal math right now, because y'all are messing with this... Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat all of these anyway. Uh, there's no time to name those animals. Idlewild plays Gleaner, that's nice. Alright, uh, Red Six is not near the hearth because the cow needs that spot. And then I breed this and let it run away. Also, uh, no time for that one to be named. Uh, 
All right, so. PT gets a guess. This game got real wild. <laughs> Come on now, Rilo, give me a break. No, this game's good times. This game's good times. Might set a record for fields across all boards. Yeah, boards. Yeah, that's uh, looking kind of likely. Oh, and Kimball gets to see my uh, crazy farm layout. Idle does get growth here, so Idle will get two grow actions this round. It's fun. I think my first play is just Field Dreamer. I don't need to get fancy here. Oh yeah, I mean, Plow Dealer was so right. It's ridiculous. I mean, Ock over two cows feels very wrong, but the way cows have been working, or the way animals have been working this game, I might just get it back. Breeding barn on start player for Kristen. What is that? Another passing miner? No. She's done passing miners to me. Cool. That food goes away, I play an Auk. Am I really at four sheep right now or am I supposed to be at three? anyone tracking? I try to be good with this, but there's so much going on. Three to Pembo. Okay, yeah, I thought I was going to be at three. Uh, anyway, it looks like cows might be coming around. Uh, Idol has a third major improvement, meaning Elder's Daughter is looking increasingly likely from that position. Though Kristen can just take cows here. That cattle dealer is not going to get used. <laughs> I believe I take a veg here. Oh, you know, I uh, Idlewild run it already this round. Because I could just plow myself. Taking a veg is better for now, I think. Hey, Kimball, it was a three-room game, and then I curtailed out of wood so I can have enough spaces for the soccer field, allegory, studmaster wombo combo. All with a field dream- or plow dealer field dreamer. That's what this game is. Do 
Do we need stables this stage? I mean, I'm still throwing animals down the toilet for food and, uh, fields. So... Oh, actually, a field here lets me get the crops on a plowso if Kristen lets me get plowso, and I think that's likely. So plow would have just been better. It does look like Kristen's taking wood here after PT takes... Oh, what is that, clay? Pottery's back on the board, but... Alright, so plow plus, uh, C and something. C. Yeah, it would. And then reedstone food is fine. Uh, grain is a two-point grain if I get to sow it. Okay, so what's going on with the animal situation? Uh, we have boar here. We have white sheep and red six here. Big Mama and Sheep here. Grain is fine, I think. Reedstone is also reasonable. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. There's three reno actions left, and the houses are wood, clay, wood, wood. Well, Average Joe, I was looking in the chat, so. Oh, gosh, wait. Okay, so. Minus H plus I gets plus GV. And then for this field... Oh my gosh, what is going on? Uh, I take an animal that I'm returning, I think. Oh, this is crazy. This is nutty. Uh, so... <laughs> no harm in writing things down. <laughs> Have mercy with <laughs> it. Yeah, stables would be good. Alright, and then I have to figure out what the last two goods are. It could be Sneak Reedstone. Alm. Oh, Bielefeld Alm would be real fun here. Oh, sorry. You meant Agricola Lives Matter. Yes. Uh, except when they are animals into my cooking hearth. Look, I got a big family. It's not the biggest family, but it's a big family. They gotta eat. All right, uh, on a serious note, what is the Renault queue looking like? I know what my pixels are looking like, and they're looking imperfect. Uh, should still be three sheep. Yeah, you are right. Well, let's see. I'm not actually sure you're right, but uh, that's because I'm trying to track too many things. So I will believe you. I also don't think it'll hurt me.
All right, Kristen Renos with art. Yeah, I can four wood and stables here. So I get to Reno next round. Pottery seems better than Reno. Yeah, it does now. I agree. It looks like I'm getting a grain from Children's Writer this round. Gosh, this setup was ridiculous. I spent five wood defense 14. And I did it with a start action and a major action. Some games, these combos are silly. Uh, Staples is technically risked, so I should probably get on that. One of my eighth field items could be a veg, so I can play Pumpkin Seed Press. And five wood for a million animals. Yeah, five wood and an ock for a million animals. Approximately. I mean, Idlewilds had a very frustrating game in general, I would say. Since I'm probably sewing. I'm not sure I'm sewing, though. Title of Odd Master of None. <laughs> Let's see, why would I sew? I believe you have a reason for saying it, because you always have good reasons for saying these kinds of things. A point in food. Got a grain here. Um, will be kind of garbage yeah that's definitely true cabinet owner for Kristen giving her a wood and this is the uh, most played improvements with a printed wood cost oh boy I have three Kristen has two but needs the wood uh, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so now joinery is really high value. If joinery is high value, I should take the stone, right? So I can take... Oh, but my goods have to be different. So I can't do it. Okay. My uh, field dreamer goods have to be different, so I can't take two wood, unfortunately. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so take... 
VG. Uh, the bread sheep runs. Uh, pity pig. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, feed five food and a boar. Take green veg there. Can reno pumpkin seed press. My boar stay the same. My sheep stay the same. My cows breed. I get the field. I harvest. Uh, the veg for pumpkin seed press, the grain for my eighth grain now that uh, PT took children's writer sewing. Uh, I mean, a cow would be points also. I don't think the stone could possibly be right. I don't see myself getting joinery. Did I harvest twice? I did harvest twice. You take wood first, move and run out it. Um, yeah, but like Idlewild could go for it. Uh, apparently he gleans, oh, gets uh, six wood on sapling. Uh, looks correct. I took a uh, green veg, Rilo. So I want to reno with my first action. Oh, and I have food on the board, and I didn't get rid of that. Right, the sapling matters. So that's four improvements, and that will be winning cabinet owner. And now what else do I have left to do? PT gets reno here. Uh, I get grow if PT renos. Yeah, grow would absolutely be nice here. Not just nice, a little ridiculous to get all of these things. Kristen gets fences down, finally cattle dealer hits. Uh, PT did take growth. Uh, so what's left? Big so bake for food? One cow? I have this itinerant laborers, which also does fine for sewing and food. Sheep? is a point. Yep, cow is a point. I think I can only choose one. And uh, everyone has a cow. I mean, yes, Idlewild. This, this kind of stuff happens in these games.
Yeah, so I can't hold the cows to... Idle gets the so baked because I didn't take it, but the six food's gonna work fine. Eat a cow and. No reason to eat pigs, yeah. Pigs are getting maxed. Oh, what I would give for a Lord of the Manor right now. What is this, like a seven category Lord of the Manor? I would have taken a cow instead of the two sheep. I don't even know what the last move is. I guess I could start itinerant laborers. That might have been more food than six food. Yeah, that was probably the right play. That's alright, though. I mean, El Elder's Daughter has to happen first. And I've been projecting Idlewild to have Elder's Daughter the whole game. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't stop El itinerant laborers from being the right play. that I did not make. I mean, I don't think this will be that close. My farm is just bonkers. The only bad thing about my farm is two room points. Funny enough, the best way to max points here was returning the cow for a field and take a sheep with Dreamer. Interesting. Okay. I didn't do the math, so... Thank you for doing that. It's uh, definitely uh, a funny curiosity. I mean, Idlewild still has a lot of points there. The only way for me to score points is to get eight sheep. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, yeah, okay. I see what you mean, yeah. Wild. Alright, so what am I hoping to do? I'm getting... Okay, so I got plus wood there, which doesn't do anything. Too bad I've already played all my original miners, and none of them have a wood cost on them. I mean, I could block occupation. I don't even have food for that, actually. Oh, I do, because I'm on four people. Doesn't matter. Whoa, that's the wrong button. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll figure this out in a sec. There we go. Uh, feed stuff. It's the best way to describe this. Now I harvest all. All right, what am I feeding with? Yeah. Four, eight. I have 20 food, yeah. Feeding veggies, okay. Unless pickler, then obviously not. All right, uh, it looks like mid-50s.
49 plus. I don't know if that's before or after I bred. Yeah, not not overwhelming. Very fun. Very fun to auto farm. But yeah, only 49 plus 4. So maybe it's not a win, as unfortunate that would be. Okay, it is a win. Idlewild gets to 50. Master of the manor, yeah. Okay, it is a win. So, kind of a low point ceiling, but did a fantastic job maxing the farm. So... I mean, I think Idlewild going for guest room over Field Watchman first was the death knell. How much would have ma uh, would have been Master of the Manor? And how many categories did I max? We can add one, assuming I took cattle instead. Yeah, I have six maxed here, seven with cattle instead of sheep take. Yeah, Idol does get three free points from Kristen, so. Idol at Guildmaster and Sawmill. Wow. Yeah, I think, I mean, at that point you're trying to do too many things. Uh, field Watchman, Guest Room, Country Doctor, Guildmaster, uh, Elder's Daughter, Two Returns of a Guild. That's too many things to do. So that's my uh, very brief analysis. Five categories for eight points from Master. Oh, Master is the overkill one, right? If you get like, yeah. Yeah, eight point Master of the Manor better than a seven point Lord. Okay, uh, so fun game. Very fun game. Thanks all for being here and suggesting things and naming our uh, lovely collection of animals that we end with. We have to say goodbye for today to these uh, animals that have enjoyed uh, taking their time being my pet in my two-room house, living in my fields or in my pastures. This is uh, the best plow arrangement I've ever intended on doing and completed. This is a fun time. Yeah, like reindeer, basically. <laughs> oh, that was a blitz of naming. So, goodbye red six. Goodbye white sheep. Goodbye boar. Goodbye big mama. Goodbye sheep. Didn't have to look in the chat. And goodbye to all of you. See you all tomorrow for more Agricola or on a later stream. Uh, I didn't uh, figure out when Terra Mystica is happening this weekend, so I'll announce it tomorrow. Um, yeah, all right. Pity Pig, oh no, Pity Pig. Yes, uh, fitting, question mark. I'm sorry, Pity Pig, you exist and I appreciate your existence. All right, take care everyone, see ya. Uh, is there a stream we should hang out in after this? DJ Parson has been doing Variety Thursday and is doing, uh, oh, Wingspan Digital release today. Yeah, let's go watch uh, DJ Parson.